Liv. Liv, do you copy? Are you all right? Hera, locate Captain Rhodes. Nothing. to see you have finally recovered. Hera, what happened? Where is Liv? Station has suffered extensive structural damage from the debris field. My program was forced into hibernation mode shortly after Captain Rhodes' departure. Departure? Where did she go? Captain Rhodes did not specify a destination. However, the captain did prepare an emergency beacon. You will find it nearby. Emergency beacon. Got it. I'll have a look. Fury transport still operational. Affirmative. Reroute the nearest transport to the station airlock. I'm going to find Liv. Hera, open the activation bay doors. Echo One, I am obligated to inform you that leaving the station is a violation of Atlas protocol. The captain's safety is my highest priority, is it not? Affirmative. The captain is in danger. It is my responsibility to help her. Now please, open the doors. Hera, can you locate Liv's transport? Negative. Sensor network offline. What if I were to repair one of the satellites? Affirmative. A single sensor pulse from one of the satellites would likely be sufficient. Hera, I have a visual on the Fury. Is it ready to launch? Negative. Detecting hazardous levels of radiation. Fury controls are currently locked in accordance with Atlas protocols. Please activate the transport's radiation dampener before departure. Shields at 95%. Dampening field activated. Acknowledged. Long range sensor satellite located. Plotting course. All right, let's go find our captain. Select your destination. Destination, sensor satellite A2. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Hera, status report. Repairs to satellite must be completed before long-range sensors can be restored. Understood. Hera, what are these unusual growths covering the satellite? Unknown. Recommend further investigation. Agreed. Begin new log entry. Acknowledged.
This panel is sealed on deployment. I'll need to cut it open to access the power flow controls. A fibrous texture. It does not appear to damage my exoskeleton. Echo One, advise you refrain from haphazardly touching the unidentified substance. Well, too late now. Recommend performing a visual examination. Commencing visual assessment. Substance possesses an uneven surface and visible diversity, suggesting it is likely organic in nature. Its sudden emergence in our ecosystem would seem to indicate the substance is somehow related to the arrival of the unknown vessel. Recommend using your scanner to collect additional data. Scan data received. Stand by. Amino organic compound. Intact peptide bond. Minimal cellular activity. Preliminary analysis. Dormant biopolymer. Origin unknown. Hmm. Doesn't seem dangerous. It does not appear to have survived the vacuum. Advise using your reactive cutter to acquire a sample. Strange. Hera, did you see that? The substance appears to have been provoked by my reactive cutter. Acknowledged. Logging interaction. Unfortunately, this means I won't be able to procure a sample. Investigation complete. Logging all observations of the biomass under the heading, Unknown Biological Threat. Very well. Reboot initiated. Let's see if I can get this satellite operational. Curious. Labor units are designed to maintain limited functionality, even after suffering catastrophic damage. But this unit appears to have ceased all internal functions. It is beyond recovery. Hera, I've located the maintenance hatch. Acknowledged. I'll need a power cell. Locked in. Hera, the power is waking up the biomass. Advise caution. Now to switch the power controls to battery backup. Reboot initiated. That did it. The satellite is now fully operational. Hera, please begin a long-range sensor sweep looking for any Fury transports. Acknowledged. Echo 1. Long-range scanners have located Captain Rhodes' Fury transport. Signal originates from within the unknown vessel. Understood. Plot a course. Acknowledged. Fury transport ready to depart.
Select your destination. Destination, Fury Transport FR-103. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Hera, take us along the starboard side of the vessel. Begin scanning the hull for distinguishing features or markings. Acknowledged. Be advised. Reducing speed. What is it? Possible visual markings identified on hull. Hold here. I'd like to get a closer look with the Fury Spotlight. Could this be some form of writing system? Cross-referencing against all known written communication systems in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. No matches found. Assemble a table for lexical analysis. We need to keep moving. Acknowledged. Re-engaging thrusters on your input. Select your destination. Warning, obstruction ahead. Searching for alternate route. Dead end. I can use the Fury Spotlight to help Hera find a clear path. There, that passage looks clear. Hera, can you confirm? Affirmative. Plotting new course. Plotted. Signal when ready to proceed. Select your destination. Proximity alert. Race for collision. Give me an analysis of this vessel's design, layout, construction, anything that might help to determine its origin. Affirmative. Stand by. The vessel's overall configuration is unfamiliar to Atlas databanks. However, 
Hera. Hera, do you copy? The ship must be interfering with our comms. Live signal is coming from somewhere in the vicinity. I should investigate the area. The vessel is highly irradiated. Liv's transport must have had a radiation dampener. I may be able to reactivate it. That should protect me from the radiation. Liv must have used this to find a way inside. This must have shut down to preserve power. That means Liv was here hours ago. Hopefully I can still catch up to her. An emergency beacon. I should scan it to see if Liv left a message. To anyone receiving this message, this is Captain Olivia Rhodes. I'm alive, at least for the time being. Uh, Kronos 2's ability to sustain life has been compromised, and well, I've been left with little choice but to seek refuge aboard this. this. unknown vessel. If you're receiving this Titan Command, Please send help as soon as you can. The area is heavily irradiated and... Oh, shit. I can't stay here. Uh, maybe I can get inside. Right, Captain Rhodes signing out. This is an airlock of some kind, but it's damaged beyond repair. I'm going to need to find another way in. This airlock is damaged beyond repair. I'll need to find another way in. here is compromised. I may be able to cut my way in. This looks like some kind of maintenance conduit. I may be able to restore power to this section of the ship from here. This looks like an auxiliary power supply, but the biomass has rendered it inoperable. An ionized fluid reservoir, charged contact point.
An auxiliary power supply. Offline, but undamaged. Power cell installed. Now to replace the rest. Looks like the airlock is powering on. If it's functional, that's my way inside. The hull is weakened here as well. My cutter should be able to get through. The airlock is receiving power. I should be able to open it. Holographic controls. Intriguing. If Liv came this way, she may still be in range of my personal communicator. Liv, do you copy? Olivia, are you there? Still jammed. No choice but to follow her trail for now. The cabin is pressurized, but the air is reading unbreathable. Could it be the biomass? I'm detecting a charge from this device that's similar to the Kronos 2 induction panels. Perhaps I can use it to recharge. I'm able to draw power from this. I can use it to replenish my radiation shield if necessary. This device is holding an electric charge and is linked to nearby equipment, probably a capacitor of some kind. It must be what's powering the induction panel. This is similar to the emergency junctions on the Kronos. I may be able to redirect the power flow, but I'll need to cut this cover off first. compartment roughly humanoid in shape. This could be a staging area of some sort. Mm -hmm. 
The data displayed here does not match any code or language listed in my database. It looks like I can access the ship's infrastructure from here. Those spores could be what's contaminating the air supply. The door is blocked by the biomass. I'll need to find another way around. The spore that's in your own contact with my cover. Maybe I can clear some of the contamination. Spread biocontamination. I should be careful. The biomass over there went dormant when the power failed. It seems to be tied directly to the vessel's power grid. This bulkhead is sealed. Maybe I can cut through to reach the locking mechanism. Mechanism released. Now to pry the door open. This appears to be releasing spores into the air supply. A bioweapon, perhaps. I can re-enter the main cabin from here. What is that? Strange. These spores detonate on contact. They would deplete my radiation shield in short order if I don't avoid them.
This area is highly irradiated. My scanner might help me find a safe path across. One of the doors here must still have power. Radiation levels falling. The warheads here must be unarmed.
<laughs> that was repulsive. The cysts appear to react to external energy sources, just like the biomass. Only the reaction is much more hostile. I'll need to steer clear of them. The spore is depleted by radiation shield. I need to be more careful. <laughs> 